Hey everyone, Alex Red Titan, Geoman on the camera. Yo. Um, just a quick intro basically. This is the uh, Pop Culture Shock Borog Player One exclusive. Um, I picked this up um, a good deal from uh, Danny and uh, Musrael, so shout out to both of you guys. Um, Danny, Danny who? Danny Hines. Danny Hines. So, uh, it used to be Danny Ocean. But, yeah. Danny Ocean. I like um, that. Danny Ocean is from Ocean's Eleven, isn't it? Is it? His name is Dan Daniel. His, his name is Danny, yeah. Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> back on point. So, um, here you go. So, we're going to review the Pop Culture Shock Borog. This is the first time George has seen this, so let's see what his reaction is when he gets it. Warning. Yeah. The following video is rated RT and contains scenes of real men reviewing collectibles. Right, Titan cannot be held responsible for any viewers who act in the same manner or will not be liable for viewers spending their money after screening these reviews. I recommend they like, comment, subscribe, and share. The following video contains British accents where available. Yo, yo, peeps, uh, carrying on. So, um, Alex got this actually for me as a gift, believe it, you know. He, uh, he likes uh, spoiling his, uh, his good friends, so. You know, got this as a gift. It's actually opened a massive can of worms up my ass now because I need to find um, probably a, another Street Fighter piece to go with this. As I'm pair, I'm, I'm usually my collection is pairing them up, so um, I'm gonna have to find something to go with this. It's quite an easy fix, really, because I like a lot of the PCS stuff. Um, not seen this before, so I'm gonna unbox it. Um, apparently, Alex has not uh, even taped this up, so you know, hopefully, everything's sweet. But we've got, we're gonna weigh it, we're gonna measure it, we're gonna compare it with a beer and all that jazz, all right? So let's have a little look and see what's going on. Business. To business, to business, it's business. To business time. Now, this is quite a simple unboxing. Ooh. Yeah, you got the gloves. Gloves. I may have used those. For me. Do they fit my hands? They may, they may be sticky. <laughs> yeah, they fit nice. They fit mine, innit? <laughs> they didn't fit me. They, of course they fit. Your hands are not, you know, you've even got B hands, don't even, oh wait, that oh, well, I mean, was the wrong way around, that'd be right. This is cool though, I mean, um, are they doing this now with all their stuff? Um, I saw it with one of the busts as well, so they have started like to do it. Okay, so, let's have a little look at the box. Quite impressed to see uh, what this looks like, no, I've not ever seen, oh that was a silly move, wasn't it? <laughs> it's well slippy now. <laughs> Okay. You just want to be special and wear the fucking Mickey Mouse gloves. Okay. Upside down. Right, okay. So, got the art box. And this is what I really like about their Street Fighter stuff is they've got like a good stack. So, we've got the certificate here, already framed because it was a slightly wavy from the box. We've got number, number uh, 99 of 200 signed by Jerry Macaluso himself. And that is a proper signature. That's none of that fucking laser pen shit. Um, numbered is again matches carpet curtains. We have 99 of 200. Hold on bro, hold on. That's fucking teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, really good. Glad Alex got the actual player one version because although the, the robe's really nice, you know, I'm sort of more into the classic stuff myself, so. Boxes are a bit of a ridge in it, but yeah, so you've got, Jesus, he's six foot six. <laughs> all right, so they got all the details there. Can you see that out of all the box? So you've got the details there. It's from the United States. It's blatantly Mike Tyson. Well, um, that's, um, that's why they changed the names. In Japan, he, is he was M Bison. M. Bison. That's well bad, isn't it? And um, <laughs> Capcom were worried about bringing it over to the US with uh, that name because he'll get a lawsuit from Mike Tyson. Well, definitely. Oh, oh, he wants some royalties, that's for sure. I was called the move set. It's got where he first appeared. That on the, sorry, it's the Street Street Fighter. You couldn't play as him though, could you? It was a. Uh, it was only the uh, it was the bosses, wasn't it? So you couldn't play with them. I forgot who used to kick our ass the most when we used to play it. Uh, Golden Fry, who was it? Bison, probably, isn't it? Well, yeah, Bison Vega. Yeah, Vega's hard to beat. Sagat. Sagat. Yeah, Sagat's, we'll actually, we'll Sagat. Really <laughs> Sagat's the biggest cheat ever, as well. Why? Just fucking. Oh, through. low tiger and then tiger knee. Dagger, low tiger. Dagger, 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 up All right, so. It's Alex not, doesn't tape this, man. No tapes. Right, okay. Press that shit together. Excuse me. Ooh. All right. Oh, cool. It's got the old uh, pop culture shock button on the box. It's 
really nice. That's cool. I don't think my Goro had this, did it? I don't know. Oh, here it is. The moment. <laughs> the excitement. Why did you put the gloves on? <laughs> oh wow, it's massive, dude. It's fucking massive. They really do pack these really well for the sizes. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get to open the box up, you think, that's massive, dude. It's proper. It's, well, when I. It's huge, I, man. Have you closed close stuff on this? Well, I'm waiting for you to I mean, Look at that. That is the absolute dogs, I think. Yeah. Messy oh. fucking box, I'll tell you that. Yeah, messy, yeah. So let's have a look at the base. This is the classic boring base, but. Um, to be honest with you, you can't, you know. There's only so much you can polish a turret with, with these bases. They are what they are. A lot of people like them. You know, for, I think for someone like Borog, it wouldn't be bad. Probably, I don't know. He doesn't fight in a ring, does he? It'd be like a street or something. Hmm. So you've got the, the, the print and everything and the handwritten thing there. So again, everything matches. It's number 99 of 200 edition. Wow, really want to see how weighty. Yeah, it's decent, it's decent weight. It's quite quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah. It's not bad. We've got the scales anyway, so we'll, if we're talking rubbish, we'll soon find out. Oh, magnificent sculpt on this body. Really impressive. And I put the base the wrong way around. Okay. So I think it's like that. Yeah, it is like that. All right, so... This has got actually a, a square peg as well. You are? And there you go. Nice and neat. Really, yeah, very nice and neat. It's got a little uh, bit of paint on that, I think. You can see in there. See that? It's a little bit of paint. Oh, that looks like it. that looks like a little bit of the body paint that's on that. Stitching looks really good. Mixed media looks really good. Real nice broad back. Fantastic veinage they've got going on. And as usual, um, you know, pop culture shocks um, sculpting. Especially of anatomy and physiology is probably the best. I like the there gloves. Is. I think the yeah. gloves actually. I had to touch them to see whether they're actually gloves or sculpted. Well, they're fantastically worn, aren't they? And you know they've got great creases and stuff done. Let's go for the um, regular. Your regular head, yeah. You know, this is a really nice job, you know, huh? On the head. I'll keep it if you don't want it. No, you're right. Really good job actually on this. The eyes, ain't no googly nonsense going on here. He's straight on looking dead ahead, so that's great. Yeah, it's good. There's a the classic head. Yeah. Turn him a bit more towards me. That way. Yeah. What's your favourite dish? Yeah, it's nice, man. Boots are really well done as well. You got that in there? Yeah. yeah. Anything with PCS is, is obviously, as people will know, if there are any joins on these things, you will see them. You can see a little bit into the, the jawline and stuff where the head joins. Around the back of the head isn't actually too bad. You know, they, they've really captured the character really, really well. I think this is fantastic, this arm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check out the. Uh... So, this is the exclusive head that you get with the uh, Player One exclusive. Well, I'm, I'm actually closed up on the uh, regular head, but uh, yeah. So this one that I'm holding in my hand, where he's actually growling a little bit, he's got a little bit of a snarl situation happening. I never liked this head you're putting on now from pictures. Yeah? I never liked it at all, he looks like he's well cockeyed. No, he's not, well, wait a minute, is he? No, he looks a lot better. No, yeah, he, yeah, it's good. I don't know which head I prefer, what would you like? Um, I quite like the regular head, to be honest. <laughs> I quite like the snarl. You know, like Rocky. The snarl. That's ugly. What do you think then overall? I think it's actually really, really nice. I've got to say, I, um, I'm i quite surprised at the size of it, to be honest. That's, I think that's the big surprise for me at the moment. It's just the just the sheer size. I think um, it's it's very, um, it's very broad. It's very thick set. I think that the way that they've done the veinage with a very light hint of blue in the veins behind them arms R really really well done and you're right the gloves are different level the gloves look amazing like the material too it's really high it's decent quality you know 
it's really well done now. Mm. It's beautiful, bro. Honestly, it's really beautiful. I'm so glad I'm gonna set this up in my collection. It's done an epic job, I think, with this. But you know, you know that with pop culture shock, they don't mess about their Street Fighter stuff. Is well, the video game stuff in general is very, very well done. I mean, the boots are fantastic as well. Just that you know the way that they've done the stitching onto the boots. You see, just the stitching and the way the laces are done. I mean, if you wanted, I don't. If you wanted to tip it over the edge, I guess you could try and do real laces. But I wouldn't even know where you would start with something like that. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? That would be something really, really difficult to achieve. The paint job is actually really nice and clean. There's not many wayward lines. Everything looks pretty nice and neat. The boots are sculpted really well. And I love the fact that he's standing in, you know, he's standing in that to southpaw pose. Slightly too square, actually, for a boxing pose. That foot should be slightly further back and this foot should be slightly over here, but never mind. You know, I love the fact he's on this toe, though, as well. It's wicked. Let's well, measure him. Let's measure, measure him first. Like, we'll do a comparison for size. So we'll, he doing his buffalo charge or something? I don't know. Okay. He definitely, I, don't, I think he's about to definitely throw, uh, throw something nasty, that's for sure. So that's him next to the beer. So obviously if the beer's dead level with the base, it's about there, as you can see. Measurement-wise, this is what I'm really interested because in, I actually really wanted to see how tall this piece was because it's been quite a debate. Yeah, it's about... Looking at that, I would say he's around about just under 18 inches tall. I think he's about 17.8. Close to it's got to be that's close to 18, isn't it? Mm. I mean that's 18 there, so that's that's about 18, yeah. Yeah. Width wise, it's quite. I mean the body certainly. I mean look at the from elbow to elbow, it's a good you know I would say a good 10 inches yeah. wide. I mean, easy to display. Anyway. Yeah, diameter is pretty sweet. You got I think you got 10. 10 inches in diameter for the base, you know? So it's pretty sweet, man. Pretty well, sweet. Uh, what, what, are you, what are you calling it, man? Um, I'm going to say it's probably about eight and a half. I think he's, I'm going to go with eight. I'm going to go with 7.8, I think he'll weigh. 7.8. 7.8, yeah. Just, just under eight. Jesus. If that measure is right, it's... Oh, we're well out. <laughs> right there. Is that right? I've got it fully on there, so look. Zero. Oh, four and a half. It's four and a half. So, yeah. It's obviously a quite a compact weight. Because that's actually quite light for... Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, for his, for his size, that's, that's not... 18 inches, just under four and a half, just over four and a half. Yeah, I mean, Goro's about nine, so it's double... The weight of him, mm. you so know, we're well off with the. the guest oh team. yeah, we're miles away, but that's why you have the. That's why you have the scales for, because what some people think is heavy, you know, ain't that heavy. Four and a half kilos. So what's that round about? Sort of nine pounds. Uh, it's about ten pounds. Isn't yeah, it? ten pounds of weight. So it's not. And what are you? Uh, what are you thinking to get with him then? I'm thinking, uh, you know, I wanted to know how big Sagat was in height, because mm. it, it, on sideshow it's saying that it's um. 21 inches tall, so probably I would say Sagat or Guile probably would be my two choices, my main choices. If I, um, funny thing is, I actually prefer the regulars on both of those, so yeah, yeah. I think that's it. I think it looks amazing, I think they did a really great job. And it's just now, how am I going to pose it? Would, would you pose him like that, or would you like to? I definitely think you've got to turn him a bit, didn't you? Please sharp the gloves a bit more, yeah. Yeah, definitely, you want to see them gloves because it's probably the highlight. Beautiful piece, man, beautiful piece. All right, great Thank job. You. Um, anyway, peeps out there, thanks for all the support and uh, checking out the videos and that, man. We've been doing really well. Um, we won't be where we are without you. So, uh, you know, like, subscribe, share, and uh, check out the website as well because we've got a lot, you know, got a lot of eyes on the And could, Yeah, definitely comment. We'll, uh, I'll always get back to you. Alex has been jumping on my YouTube flex the last couple of times. Keep <laughs> telling him to back off, but one of us will definitely respond to you. So, uh, thanks for, if you've got this, man, let me know what you've got it paired up with because I could do with some ideas. Cool. Much love, man. Peace. Peace.